I'm Jason Schwartz, and this is Reverend Jimmy Kimmel Live, <laughs> live here on Maui. Welcome to our show, or to your show. Hello, everybody. You guys know this is not the same Jimmy Kimmel that you've seen on late night television. That guy on TV, we've invited him to our show, and if he shows up, he'll probably sit here right in my seat. What do you think? <laughs> That'd be nice. Be so, Jimmy, Jimmy I Kimmel want you to know, <laughs> we want you on this show because, truly, I didn't create this. This is a reality between you and this guy, Reverend Jimmy Kimmel. Now, we've been doing these shows, and you probably, all of you out there know, that Reverend Jimmy Kimmel, how long have you been studying the Urantia book? A little over 45 years. 45 years. 45 <laughs> years. And before that, you were... Ten years in the nuclear industry? I spent ten years on the nuclear weapons testing front. Catch that. <laughs> ten years in nuclear weapons. Were you a, a Bible thumper at the time? You were an atheist. I was a stone-cold right? atheist. Then. Stone cold. And you, so you grew up a Christian. Yep. Okay? And then you went from being fully indoctrinated to, <laughs> I don't want to be indoctrinated, to coming full circle and embracing God in a new and refreshing way. I'm Jewish by, you know, you get to say by derivation. Okay? <laughs> but yet I have come to understand by and the, appreciate. By the will of God. By the will, by of, the God. will of God, I'm Jewish. That's right. By the will of God, I'm Jewish. <laughs> and uh, this is the Arantia book. Now, many of you have asked me out there, are you Jewish? How come you're, you're showing the Arantia book, which has a guy in there named Jesus? Jesus, he's involved with the Christians, but how is he involved with the Arantia? It's worth checking out. This story, when did it begin, Jim? When did all this about Arantia begin? Pretty much when you were began, huh? Well, the book was released to the, to the public in 1955. In 55? 1955. Okay. It was made available. No advertising, no fanfare, no hella blue. Just it was made available for people that are searching for truth and seeking to know the answers of a lot of unknown questions and come toward this. And how would people have discovered it? Through their pastors at church? It's hard to say. Uh, everybody seems to have a different story. It's interesting to, to, to read some of the mail that has to do with how you found the Arantia book. Like we, we sat here with a rabbi yesterday. <laughs> You're right. And yeah. Where did he find it? He found it on the chiropractor's office. That's right. 